I've been cooking with fire for 33 years. I'm working with Peter today and showing him how to bring fire out of a piece of flint and steel. So you have to have three things for fire. You have to have fuel, oxygen, and heat. This will be really my first time making a fire without a match. This is probably one of the easier old time mountain man ways. Like every mountain man carried one of these with them. To build a flint and steel fire, you have to make a spark from the flint and steel. You have to catch the spark with a little piece of charred cloth. So that's our fire, that's all it takes. And then put that hot ember into our nest and blow it until it makes flames. And there's your flame. You know, I think it connects us to our ancestors and to civilization uh, as a whole. Okay, so there's your piece of steel. Started off, uh, di it was difficult to do, but then Eustace gave me some pointers about technique. And you're gonna have to limber up your wrist. Your brain is telling you rigidity, but you need just to have a glance and strike. To get good at it, it really takes just a lot of practice. That's better. It takes a little finagling and finesse to get those sparks to come off. And I can only give you so much information. You, you have to learn from the rock and the steel in your hands, you know? A lot of different techniques there. Fast strike, there you go, that's better. You got it, yeah. Get it, get it on down in there, smash them down in there a little bit, but not too much. Now wrap that nest up around it. <laughs> you got it, Peter, look at that. Yeah, and you can hold it on the bottom. See, if you, if you hold the bottom, then the heat won't burn you. It's all good when you have the fire. Life is good. Living in the forest, choosing to live wild and natural as a mountain man.